This is the fourth and final section of chapter five on probability, and this section is about tree diagrams. So just a quick reminder about tree diagrams. They can be drawn going downwards, or they can be drawn going across. Where I've put the red boxes, this is where you would write your probabilities, either fractions or decimals. And where I put the green boxes is where you would put your outcome. So I don't know heads or tails, that type of thing. And the rules for tree diagrams are if you go along a branch, then you multiply those probabilities. So you multiply long branches. If you go along more than one branch, then you're going to add them together. So if I to answer a question, I have to go along this branch and this branch, I still multiply both branches, but then I'd add this multiplication and I'd add that to this multiplication here. So multiply along, or you, or you could say you add going across. Example eight, a bag contains seven green beads and five blue beads. So I'll just underline that. A bead is taken from the bag at random and not replaced. Okay, that's important. It's not put back. So every time a bead's taken out, the total number of beads is gonna go down. A second bead is then taken from the bag. Find a probability of these things here. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw a tree diagram. So here's my tree diagram here. So I need to put the outcomes, green beads and blue beads. So green here, blue, that could be the first one that I pick. And the second one that I pick could be green or blue as well. So we'll just put these in. And now we'll put in the probabilities. So we start with seven green um, and five blue. Now I know all together then that there's going to be five, seven plus five, 12 beads. So the probability of picking a green at the start is going to be seven over 12. And a probability of picking a blue at the start is going to be five over 12. Then we move on to this second branch here. Now I've taken a bead out and it's gonna be a green bead. Now these are both going to be out of 11. So there's only gonna be 11 beads left. If I take a green bead out, then the number of greens is only gonna be six, but the number of blue is still five because I haven't taken a blue bead out if I go down this route. Then we'll go down this route on the other side. So again, these will be out of 11. If I've taken a blue bead out, there's still going to be seven greens. But the number of blues is going to go down by one. So that's now be four. Now, before you move on, just double check that the numerators add up to the denominator. So six plus five is 11. That's fine. Seven plus four is 11. That's fine. So now we can use our tree diagram to answer this question. So the probability that both beads are green okay so if they're both green we're going down this branch here so it's going to be multiplying because we're going down a branch along a branch so that would be uh, 7 over 12 times 6 over 11 that makes 42 over 132 and that simplifies to seven over 22. Then part B, the beads are different colors. So the probability beads or both beads are different colors. So if the beads are gonna be different colors, it means either that I'm going to get a green followed by a blue. So probability of green and blue or it's the probability that it's blue followed by green so probability blue and green now one way to do these questions is basically to replace each of the word by their probabilities replace the word and with times and replace the word or with plus that's one way of doing it so the probability of green and blue, so green and blue is seven over 12 for the first green 
and the second one is blue times 5 over 11 plus because we now have to go into it down a different route blue and green so 5 over 12 times 7 over 11 so that will give us 35 over 132 plus 35 over 132 that's 70 over 132 and we can divide both of those by 2 and that simplifies to 35 over 66 so you should now be able to do exercise 5d on pages 79 to 80 of the textbook then followed by the mixed exercise